with that, I'll go on to the next the next question, which was, how long do the health benefits of broccoli sprouts last? Would consuming them every day be better than every other day or once a week? Um, this is a, this is an easy question for me to answer, but it's but it's as with most everything else, it's shades of gray. It's not black and white. Um, we think that consumption every two or three days is fine because what you're doing is you're not, it's not like vitamin C where you're having a direct antioxidant effect and you use up the vitamin C and it's gone. Um, what you're doing is you're cranking up protective enzymes and they last. Enzymes are proteins and you know they do work in the body and eventually they wear out and break down and get catabolized and, and turned into their component amino acids and then they get remade. Um, we know that the elevation of these um, enzymes lasts for at least hours and certainly in most cases days, a few days probably. Um, some benefits might be short-lived. Um, you know, if when you talk about habits though, people's habits, I, I think especially with diet and with supplements, uh, if you're taking supplements, it's better to just do it daily. If you're in the habit of eating broccoli sprouts, um, it's easier to say, okay, you know, I eat them today and I don't eat them tomorrow because I'm going to get bored eating the same thing every day. But um, yeah, e every couple of days should be fine, I think, two or three days. I know that the animal studies have shown that the NRF2 protective pathways activated for at least two days. Um, have you looked at any clinical samples, uh, human human samples? Is it to see if it's similar yeah. or? Yeah. That, so that uh, so what you were referring to clinical studies when you were referring to any hours to days. I, I'm referring to both, but but I mean we've looked we've looked in the, um, in clinical studies also. I mean part of the problem with clinical studies is that you have to pick some times unless you have someone in the hospital in, in a hospital or in an, in a, an inpatient setting have an indwelling catheter of some kind in them and are constantly taking blood or having them deliver their urine to you, all of it on, you know, for days on end, which most people don't like to do. They're very difficult studies to do. So when we do clinical studies in an effort to, you know, sort of mo have moderate inconvenience for the subject and, and reduce the cost of it to a manageable level, we wind up picking times to take blood and to look at elevation of those enzymes. And frequently it's a day after dosing. Um, and so, you know, we know that a day after taking um, sulforaphane, we see these enzymes elevated. And, um, and, and also, I can't remember if uh, two or three days has been a time point that, that we've looked at specifically, but, um, but others have, I think, in the clinic. Mm 